Good morning everyone and welcome to today's Sunday celebration. Yeah. I hope you're all doing well and you've had a good week. And yes, again, I'm on my walks. Do you know where I am is the question. Do you know? It's quite an easy one. But we've got so much in store for you today. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you're sat comfortably to watch the BT family perform sort of a drama and a reading. Enjoy. A man had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Father, I want my half of your estate now, before you die. But, but I'm, I'm not going to die. Yeah, well, you're going to die sooner or later, and the money has to be mine, and I choose sooner. Sooner? What, you want your half of your money now? Now. But, but, now? Now. I'm positive. Oh, well, I can give you your half of the estate now, but, but when it's gone, it's gone. I know. There will be no more. I know. You mustn't waste it. I won't. His father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. And a few days later, his younger son packed all his belongings and set off and wasted all his money on wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine spread across the land and began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him and the man sent him into the fields to look after and feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he gave to the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. <coughs> and when he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants get food to spare. And now I don't have anything. I'm feeding food to pigs that I cannot even eat. I'm dying of hunger and I wasted everything my father gave me. I wish I listened to him. While he had the job of feeding the pigs, he said out loud what he would say to his father. Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I'm no fit to be called your son anymore. Treat me like one of your workers. He left the farm and went home. When he was still a long way from home, his father saw him and felt sorry for him. He ran to his son and hugged and he ran to his son and hugged oh. and kissed him. Mm. Thank you so good you've come home. I'm so pleased to see you. And he said to his workers, Hurry, hurry workers! Put the best clothes on him. Put those clothes on him. Oh, you look wonderful. Put that ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Get the best calf so we can prepare it and eat. Let's prepare and celebrate the return of my son. He was dead, but now he's come back to life. He was lost, but now he's been found. They began to celebrate. When his older brother returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. He asked one of the servants, what was going on? And the servant, oh, he said, your brother came back. Uh, your father has killed a calf and we are celebrating because of his safe return. The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in and his father came out and begged him. And the older brother replied, All these years I have slaved for you and never once refused to a single thing you have told me to do. In all that time, you have never 
even give me one young calf and let me have a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back with nothing and spent all your money you gave him, you celebrate by giving him a great feast? His father said to him, I know, I know it's strange, I know it's strange, but look here dear son. You have always, he's always strayed from me and everything I have is yours. We have to celebrate the return of your brother because your brother was dead and now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. We must celebrate. Come here. So why did Jesus tell this story? He wanted us to realize that God always forgives us and he always welcomes us back into his family when we say sorry and choose to come back to follow him so why don't you maybe now say sorry for anything you've done wrong and god will welcome you back into his family That was amazing. Great acting, BT family. Up next, we have a lovely song. So, up on your feet and join in with the actions, please. Thank you. 
Next, we have some prayers. Dear God, thank you that you love each and every one of us. Thank you for giving us a second chance. And thank you for welcoming us into your family. Amen. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed today's Sunday celebration and the moment you've all been waiting for again. Where am I? The Devil's Punch Bowl! Yeah! It's a very uh, miserable day, but we make the most of it. We get out and we enjoy the fresh air, don't we, Peppy? That's my dog. Anyway, next week, I'm going to be doing the story. So, hope to see you. God bless. <laughs>